here's what we're going to do. So, as you guys know, I am a huge fan of comic books, collecting comic books. You see, I've got a Batman number one here, uh, Detective Comics number one here, uh, Swamp Thing number one here, and a Swamp Thing number seven from 1973. Older than uh, older than me, probably older than maybe 95% of the people watching the channel right now. Uh, this is a dope-ass comic book here. This one's graded 9.6. Uh, it's slabbed up from the CGC. It's fucking amazing. That's probably my most expensive comic book that I have. Well, except for maybe the one that we're about to unbox. Uh, but who knows? Who knows? So here we go. What I've done is in this closet over here, I have tons and tons and tons of comic books, sports cards, various types of collectible type shit, right? Um, I've been collecting comic books since I was um, maybe nine, ten years old. I think when I was eight or nine is probably the first time that I ever bought a comic book, and then I really started getting into it seriously when I was about nine or ten years old. Uh, all of those comic books, I still have them all in there, and they're all in really good shape. Um, and then I got out of collecting comic books when I joined the military in 1996 uh, because, you know, being in the Army, you're always moving around. Uh, and you don't really have much space in your barracks room and everything, so I, I couldn't really uh, have a hobby like that. Uh, but now, of course, uh, being older and, and having my own home and everything like that, um, and now I have a daughter, she's eight years old, and she actually is the one that kind of got me back into it. So her and I both enjoy, you know, getting comic books and reading the comic books and stuff like that. Anyways, I've sent in six of my comic books to the CGC for grading. What grading a comic book does is you send in a loose comic book. Uh, loose comic books have value. Um, again, whatever somebody is willing to pay essentially is what a comic book is worth. Um, but uh, you can send them in for grading. And there's a company out there called uh, CGC. They're based out of Florida. You send them comic books and they will grade it for you. They look at the corners. They look at the, you know, the cover, the, the inks. They, they look at all this stuff. Is there any folds in it or, or pages missing or coupons cut out or whatever it is? And then it gets a grade. It's based off of a 10 scale, you know, so it goes all the way, you know, from like a zero or whatever to a 10. And then there's a bunch of numbers in between. Uh, a 9.8 is generally um, is generally going to be the highest grade that you're going to see. Right. When 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 you go out and you look for a comic book, you want to purchase a graded comic book, you're purchasing a 9.8. Now, if you're uh, real, I don't want to say real rich, but if you have the funds, then you would maybe want to search out a 9.9 9 or a 10, a perfect gem mint 10 comic book. However, the comic book that you're searching for, let's say Deadpool number one, it may not have any 10s. There may not even be any 9.9s. I think there's one 9.9 9 in, in existence and everything else is a 9.8 or below. So generally, a 9.8 is going to be the top grade for a lot of these comic books. So Without further ado, I'm super freaking excited for this. I sent these in. Uh, they received them on March 20th uh, is when they were checked in there at the at the CGC facility. And it is now April 11th, and I have them back. Uh, the box is sealed up. So I don't know. Uh, I'm, I know which ones are in here. I know what the grades are because I already looked because I couldn't help myself because this is my first submission to the CGC. Uh, but we're going to unbox it together. I do have another submission that is there that is uh, currently getting graded. Uh, and I've decided to wait uh, and just uh, look at the grades with you guys here uh, when they arrive. Oh, fuck. I hate this. This is this is absolute just a nightmare. This is This is a freaking nightmare, dudes. I hate this. You know why I hate this? Because it makes a giant mess. It makes just a giant mess. This is like glitter, you know? This is like trying to get glitter out of your freaking home. And uh, what sucks is I have cats. So these cats are just going to tear all of this stuff up. I have nowhere to put any of these. Um, I mean, do I just dump it out on the ground? Ha! Ah! I guess we're just going to dump it out on the, on the ground here. Hold on, give me a second. I got an idea. It's the dog's bed.
All right, so that was a pain. That was a pain, but we got it. All right, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. This ought to be, this ought to be pretty interesting, man. This ought to be pretty interesting. All right, here we go. Here we go, man. So, oh, they're still freaking, oh. They're everywhere. Like, you can't get rid of them all. Yo! Hate you, you hey! Fucker. It's the War Sniper, my dude! Welcome back, man! Welcome back! Thank you very much for, for resubbing, man! There was hearts and everything! Why was there hearts? That's crazy! I don't ever remember seeing hearts! Yo, War Sniper, welcome back, man! Thank you very much for the three months of support! We are doing a, uh, we are doing an unboxing. This is my, uh, this is my, my first submission to the CGC. And they have returned to us today. Yo, you know what this is? This stuff all gets reused. So if I sell any comic books or whatever, or actually when I go to ship more comic books to the CGC, all of that stuff gets reused. All of this gets reused. Here we go, bros. There they are. There they are. This is going to be freaking amazing. Now they give them to you. Uh, they they give them to you in uh, like these little bags. Give them to you in these little bags. Ugh. All right, here you go. I flipped it over because I wanted to do the number one first, but apparently they stacked it in reverse. Either way. Here you go. Let's get rid of the submission form. That's the CGC submission form. Uh, it costs $150 to become a member of the CGC. It costs $18 per book to grade. But once you become a member to the CGC, uh, then you get a discount. So it's $16.20. So you get $1.80 off per grade. Um, and uh, the total of sending six books to them is $125.20. That includes a $5 handling fee. That includes a, um, a shipping back to your home uh, and the grading and everything like that. So it was $125.20 for this. However, when you become a membership of the, a member of the CGC, it's $150. But then they give you $150 credit. So essentially... Uh, this entire thing was free. So I sent these in. It didn't cost me anything uh, other than the shipping and the the uh, the handling fee. So I paid twenty eight dollars for these here. The everything else was uh, was free. Um, so that's pretty awesome. So here you go. Here's uh, book number one, and I'll take it out of the. They put it in this little bag, but you know I'm not going to leave it in this bag. I have other bags. So. There it is. Now, these are comic books that I purchased. I purchased this book, uh, and then I had it, you know, I bagged it, and I boarded it, and I kept it, and then when I became a member of the CGC, I sent it in for grading. Uh, and let me put, let me put, uh, let me put the autofocus on over here. And then also, let me turn this monitor off. Okay. So here you guys go, man. There it is. Batman Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number six. Is it going to zoom? There it is. It says variant cover. Uh, and they actually messed up over here. They actually messed up over here. You see it says James, uh, James, tier, 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 I don't know how to pronounce his name. Uh, Freddie Williams cover and art, but it says variant cover. So they actually messed up. So good, good quality control, right? Good quality control. Uh, but it made a 9.8. So uh, again, like I was telling you guys, the best that a comic book can hit is uh, is a 10 and then a 9.9 and then a 9.8. So there's only two grades higher than this, but there are no 10s and there's no 9.9s in an existence uh, in existence out there. The reason why this cover is cool because this is actually a um, Kevin Eastman variant. So Kevin Eastman did the drawing and the art for all of this stuff. And these books are more rare than the normal uh, Batman Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number six because a, a, a facility, a comic book store, had to purchase 50 regular ones in order to get one of these. And most of the time, comic book stores are ordering... Uh, you know, maybe no more than 150, 100, something like that. So a comic book store may only have one or two, maybe three of these that come in. Uh, so you can see how these are kind of freaking rare. But anyways, a 9.8 is an amazing, absolutely 
amazing grade and they do a wonderful job of slabbing it i mean that looks so freaking beautiful so there's number six i guess we'll go uh, we'll go in reverse since uh, since they they packaged them in reverse let me put the scissors away over here all right number five number five same thing these are all going to be eastman variants and when i said that they messed up over there you see how it says james uh, james story freddie williams if it zooms in freddie williams and then it says kevin eastman cover so they should all say kevin eastman cover uh and then it says variant cover there again a one in 50 variant batman teenage mutant ninja turtles number five nine point eight this one is uh I mean, and they're, they're fucking... God, that looks so good, too, man. 9.8, dudes. To be completely honest with you guys, I was not expecting these to come back. 9.8s. I mean, again, this is the first time I've ever sent comic books in for grading. Um, I did look them over, and I, and, and, and I don't know much about grading comic books. I know that, you know, if there's, like, a fold in it, then it's, like, I mean, it's kind of going to get this grade or whatever. But um, these were all real nice, except for uh, this one has very, very slight fraying on the top, right on the spine. Uh, but if you look up, like, 9.8, it does allow for... Um, a small portion of fraying like on the spine or whatever and the corner can be somewhat dented as in not being perfectly sharp but there could be a, a slight round edge to it it's still qualified for a 9.8 obviously a 9.9 and a 10 cannot uh but there really can't be anything else wrong with these books so um 9.8 on that one which is awesome so this one's a bummer i'm pretty bummed about this one this one got a 9.4 9.4 uh and then you can see batman teenage mutant ninja turtles number four variant cover and then again with the eastman uh the kevin eastman cover there i'm kind of bummed about this a 9.4 here uh the reason why i'm bummed about a 9.4 is because uh in newer comics in brand new comics um there's no reason why they shouldn't get a 9.8, right? There's got to be something really wrong with this to not get a 9.8, right? Especially to go, instead of a 9.8, a 9.6, all the way to a 9.4. You know what I mean? Somebody had asked me a couple of weeks ago on stream, is a 9.4 or a 9.2 a bad grade? No, it's pretty good grade. But it really depends on what year the comic book is, right? So if you have a 9.4 or a 9.6 or something like that in a comic book that's 40, 50 years old, then that's really good. But a comic book that's a year old, right? I mean, these came out when? This came out uh, 2016, right? So this isn't even a year old yet and it, to get a 9.4. So there's got to be something uh, There's got to be something wrong here. And, um, and I went and I looked on eBay. And all I can find is 9.4s on eBay. A lot of these in 9.4s. So it seems like maybe this cover, this art, this something. I don't know. 9.4 seems common in this one. Um, but either way, still freaking awesome. I have zero intentions of selling these comic books. Um, these, like I said, all these comic books are comic books that I hunted down and I got. Um, and uh, one of them was even uh, given to me by one of the viewers of the stream and everything, which was awesome. So, uh, And that was actually this one right here. So this book here, this is the number three. Uh, Batman Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number three again with the variant cover there and the Eastman the Eastman variant cover uh, this book holy fackin username holy fackin username he knows a lady or is friends with a lady who owns runs a comic shop a real big comic shop here in Washington State and um, he had her hold one and he went down there and he bought it from her and uh he donated it to me on the stream here uh so that was really awesome so i'm awesome you know i'm real happy that that hit i fucking hate you you fucker yo lance thank you very much for resubbing man two months in a row appreciate you so this one was purchased by a viewer of the mori Kiopa stream and given to me i met him at his uh, at his work at his place of business and uh and he gave me the comic book so this is super awesome that this hit a 9.8 Real happy about this one. Now, the next one here, the next one here, this one's money. This one's money, 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 money. This one I am super, super excited about. This one has a little bit of a story to go along with it, too. This is the number two comic book. Again, Batman Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number two in a 9.8 with white pages. And it has the variant cover, the Kevin Eastman cover. And it is a beauty. 
It is a freaking beauty, man. Um, this book, the story behind this book is that this book is more rare than all of these other books uh, that, that I have. And the reason why it's rare, and I was talking to a, a couple of different comic shop owners, and they said that the reason why this one's rare and the reason why this one will always be a little bit wor worth more than the rest of them is because it's going to be harder to find. The reason why it's harder to find is because uh, these comic book stores had to order one and two from what the guys were telling me at the same time. So um, most of the time, number ones are always going to be the, the 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 ones that are going to be the most expensive. You know, like Deadpool number one or, you know, the first appearance of this individual or first appearance of that individual. Number ones generally go for more. The reason why this one is 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 more rare is because when they had to order these, they ordered one and two at the same time, pre-order at the same time. So they kind of did a standard order for number one and then did a lower order for number two because they weren't certain if number one was going to be popular, if Batman Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was, was going to be popular. So they didn't want to order the same amount or over order on number two until they saw how number one did. Well, of course, Batman Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comes out. It's a freaking hit. Everybody loves it. Uh, everybody buys them out and everything. Well, they don't have enough number twos. They didn't order enough number twos. So this comic book is, again, a one in 50. So a comic shop had to order 50 of these to get one. So some of these places only ordered 50 or didn't order 50, or only ordered 100, so they only had one or two that came into their shop, and some guys didn't even order them at all. So that's why this one's going to be more rare. So I scoured the Ebays to find this, um, and I found it in a, a seller in the United Kingdom. I live in Seattle, so um, I purchased this from him. He sent it to me. It took quite a while, several weeks to get to me. So the fact that this one hit a 9.8 is freaking awesome phenomenal so i'm real hyped up and plus i think this is the best looking cover of all of them too so there is one of these currently listed uh 9.8 currently listed on ebay for 250 bucks um it's been listed for 250 bucks i think for about a week now i don't feel like it's gonna sell for 250 i feel like this book is probably like a you know maybe 175 maybe somewhere around in there 160 175 for this book like uh right here and who knows the older that it gets the more rare it could get the more expensive it could get uh, but I'm super stoked about that one. And then, of course, this is the number one. Batman Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, number one. And so, you see, the, the CGC is so weird. This is the only one that says Eastman variant cover. It says Kevin Eastman cover here. And then they went ahead and they wrote out Eastman variant cover in full. And then all the other ones, the other five, they just put variant cover. So if you go to eBay and you look these up, you'll see some of them say Eastman variant and some just say variant. They're all Eastman variant. 9.8 again with white pages. Uh, I really like this cover too. This one I think is pretty dang cool. This one's number one of six. So it was a six-part series. Uh, I got pretty lucky. For my very first CGC submission, they all returned 9.8 except for one. Came back as a 9.4. I've seen a lot of those as a 9.4, so there must be something with the cover on those that it just doesn't get, uh, you know, they just don't show them love. But there you go, bros. Six comic books submitted, six comic book returned, all 9.8s, except for one right there, the third one. Third one down, 9.4. Awesome. Awesome stuff, man. I'm super excited about that stuff. So I'm Dai. If you're out there, if you're watching, thank you very much. I love you. I appreciate the uh, the, the gift of the CGC membership. And there it is. I uh, This has uh, 315 March 15th. I mailed this March 16th. They received it March 20th. And I have it back now on April 11th. So seems like pretty quick turnaround times uh, on books from them. So... There it is, man. Super freaking happy about that. Super happy. Hope you guys enjoyed it, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you.